Hey guys, it's Queen Snow Quiche, and I'm back with another Makeup Monday video. Um, yeah, honey, I feel like there's a lot of we just we just want to shine in the winter. I don't know about y'all, but it's been real cold in Boston, and I just feel like. I want to glow regardless of there being no sunshine, lack of sunshine, because it's, the sun's still be coming out obviously day and night, right? But the lack of sunshine is making me want to do bright colors, but still staying in my, in my, you know, my lane of fall. So I went in with the orange today and gave you guys a little autumn look. So if you're here for this sleigh, you're feeling it, you guys know what to do. <laughs> we, we do this every Monday. It's, it's routine now now you just click the like button and you view and you tell a friend to tell a friend i really appreciate the love and to my new subscribers hey y'all i see y'all um we're growing and i just can't wait so we can get to a thousand subscribers so we can get the coins the coins to come in okay that's the goal so share this channel share this video I have an announcement drum roll please bam I am doing, bringing back, I should say, because I've done this before, bringing back my online one-on-one -on -one classes. So if you're looking to learn anything about makeup, you guys, click the link below. But I have an eye mini available. I have a full face if you learn how to want to do a full face before the holidays hit, Christmas, Thanksgiving, you know, New Year's Eve, New Year's Day. You just want to slay and you're just like, I'm tired of seeing my friends slay and I don't know how to do nothing. You need this class. This class is for you. If you're watching tutorials, I know sometimes it can be a little fast, hard for you to learn. Um, so this is basically like a one-on-one. -on -one. I'd be doing the makeup with you. I'm super excited. I got a couple people already signed up. Limited slots available because the holiday season is here. I am a busy gal. Um, but I work around my schedule and your schedule. You see what times are available. You click book and that's that. I'll put the link below if you're looking to book an appointment. If you have additional questions, feel free to DM me, email me, text me, whatever. It don't matter. I'm here for y'all. Um, but I'm super excited about this class. Uh, if all works out, maybe I'll do it again in December or January. But I'm just excited. So that's my announcement. And let's let the ball roll back into Makeup Mondays. Okay. So I'm gonna go in with my eye primer from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Something a little, I'm doing something a little different today. You guys know I usually use the LA Pro concealer, but honey, this really made my eyeshadow pop. I really like this eye primer from Anastasia. Shout out to them. Um, and then I'm gonna go in my Novena palette in the color E4, E5, D2, and C1. And then I'm gonna use my Sephora collection metal effect meteor color so the first color i'm going in with is this dark brown um i didn't want the black to over overshadow my orange so i went in with the brown first and then in my crease area i applied that black eyeshadow and it just gave it a smoky eye effect but not like overpowering um the combination that i'll do so you'll see when i put the orange how it balances it out. So now I'm applying that orange color um, in the front of my eye, kind of dragging it down into that black that was into my crease, and just blending the two colors together. I don't want the black to disappear completely, but I also want it to blend so it looks really nice and, and, and neat. You know what I'm talking about? Okay. And then next, I'm going to go into my Sephora collection, Metal Effect Meteor, which is such a nice uh, color. And the pigment is just so nice. The shimmer is beautiful. And it was only $8, so um, they have plenty of colors. I recommend getting some of these um, if you're starting your palette collection of makeup, whatever. And then I went in with the C1 for like a gold shimmery effect because I want to glow. And now I'm going in with my eyeliner. I'm using the Marc Jacobs eyeliner. I just forgot to show you guys. But if you watched last week's tutorial, then you know that you know. I always wanted to try um, the Dior Air Flash. Um, not just the Dior Air Flash, but like I remember my sister not getting married and her doing like a spray foundation. And I was like, what? I didn't know that was a thing as I shake the one that I have. 
Um, and I was always interested, like, I wonder what it's like. Like, she just looked amazing on her wedding day, and I'm like, air flash, I need to get that. I didn't even know what it was called. I thought it was called airbrush, air foundation, whatever. But this one's called Air Flash from Dior. And I am the color 600. Um, it's a 12 hour wear it says and it's supposed to be amazing so we're gonna try it out today this is what we're doing on this tutorial um, air flash so y'all about to see me doing this for the first time on camera but I'm gonna spray my face and see what happens and see what happens okay I'm gonna go in with the Versali um, rose gold skin mist who remembers when this was going viral on social media I wonder if you guys can see it Freshen up before we do anything. Nothing is coming out. Nothing is coming out. When I open my eye, watch something come out. Okay, there we go. This is my first time using it. <laughs> I always overdo it. But it smells really good. And it has 24 gold infused in it. Makes me feel fancy. I feel like this is the kind of setting spray you need to spray before you put Dior on your face. <laughs> Okay, okay, so that's what I just did, and now I need to prime my face. Like, wait, right? I should prime my face. I'm gonna prime, I'm gonna go in with my oil shine and control from Smashbox. I don't know if you can really see that on the screen, but if you watched last Monday's makeup tutorial, which I hope you did, then you know which one it is, okay, and Again, this is from my oily combination skin women. This primer is life. All right, we're just gonna put that all down our T-zone and around this area, cause you know sometimes the sweat drips to the corners, okay? To the crevices. Ooh, I got something in my mouth. Look at that, hair. Ooh, ooh, boop, get that out, okay? So now it's time for foundation. And I'm really just as nervous as y'all. I don't know if you're nervous watching this, but I am. Okay. Do they have instructions? Maybe I should read the instructions, Keish. What does it say? It's a buildable formula. Water resistant, 12 hour wear. Shake for five seconds before using. One, two, three, four, five. For optimal makeup results, spray onto Dior Backstage Pro Buffing Brush. I don't have a Dior Buffing Brush, but I got my own buffing brush, and, and it's from Amazon. So we're going to do that, okay? And gently dab onto areas that require more coverage. Spray more on to the brush and apply as needed, depending on how much coverage you prefer. So it's supposed to go on. Look, now I'm shaking the brush. <laughs> it's supposed to go on the brush. That was cute. And then I'm just gonna apply, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> it looks like I might have put a lot on it, okay. So the where I need to apply more is probably the lower end of my cheek because my face is not the same color all around. Um, I feel like most black women deal with pigmentation issues, whatever. So I'm just working that in. And it really feels very light. Doesn't really feel like anything. Honestly. Okay, just a little coverage there. I'm gonna do this again. It actually is changing the color of the brush. I don't know if y'all can see that on camera. But I think it feels nice. I honestly thought I was gonna be spraying my face. But it just feels really, really nice, actually. Ooh. Okay, coverage, come through. Mm -hmm. Okay, talk to mama. It feels nice. I will say the only thing I issue I had um, before purchasing this was that they didn't have a lot of variety for my brown skin girl, okay? And I wasn't happy about that. I feel like they had brown, okay? Maybe a few shades in brown, I'll give them that. 
And then when it got a little bit darker than a like a light brown, it would just went straight like to dark. There was like no in between. Like it was like, yeah, it didn't make me happy. Um, but I did want to review this for the girls who might be interested, and also for my own, my own, um, my own try on. Like I just wanted to try this for myself. I always wanted to try this, and now that I had the chance to, I'm like, why not? And y'all, it is beautiful. It's like really nice on my skin. Dior, this is amazing, but you need more shades. Okay? Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. Right? I really, really like the coverage on this. And it's buildable. So if I wanted more coverage, which I do on my chin, I'm just gonna spray my brush. Yeah, that's nice. That's real smooth. All right, we're gonna get back to the tutorial now, y'all. This is real nice. This is real nice, okay? Now I'm gonna go in with my Y in my YSL Touche Leclat High Cover Concealer and the number five. Uh, this is my first time trying out their concealer, and it was a nice finish, actually. I liked how easily it blended um, into my foundation. So this is like high end. We just doing. All the fancy brands on this on this tutorial this Makeup Monday. And then next I'm going to go in with my Hourglass Veil Setting Powder, which I love so much. There is no flashback, which is why I love it. Next I went in with my Lancome Dual Finish Highlighter in Dazzling Bronze. This highlighter is amazing. I went in with my Kat Von D Liquid Matte and Crucifix, NYX Butter Gloss and Strawberry Jam, and then my Smashbox. Los Angeles in the color clear and honey this limb combo was amazing I did go in with the same orange that I went in on my eyes into my lip gloss and that's how I got the orange color and y'all the look is finito 